Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the previous year coding questions which were asked in the TCS Ninja to TCS Digital Upgrade exam. Guys, this year the TCS Digital Upgrade exam will be happening on 22nd March 2023. So make sure that you are watching this video to the end so that you can get to know the different different type of questions which are getting asked in this exam. Now this is part two of this series. Part one has already been uploaded on my channel. You can see here. So you after so make sure that after watching this video you watch part one also. And guys, on daily basis I am making lot of videos regarding different different companies which are hiring as well as the interview experiences of those companies. So make sure that you are subscribing this channel and liking this video. And you can also join our Telegram group. The links you will find in the description box. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Guys, let's just quickly discuss about the next level by an academy. It is India's gaming based hiring platform wherein you play coding competitions among your friends and random app users. Based on these coding competitions, you are given a professional rating and based on your rating, different different jobs on this platform get unlocked. Guys, next level is organizing a league that will happen on 11th March 2023. It is a one day competition wherein you can play multiple coding com competitions on the same day and based on your performance or rank on that day, different different prizes will be given to you. For example, first, win, uh, first rank will get Apple MacBook Pro, second will get Apple iPad Air, third will get Amazon Kindle Paperwhite and up to 100 candidates based on their performance will get Amazon vouchers Okay, of different different prizes. So this will happen on 11th March 2023. Guys, next level seasons have already started. The seasons are monthly competitions and based on your performance on that month, you will be given a rank and based on the rank, you are allotted different different prizes like MacBook Air, Apple iPad Mini and Amazon Kindle. So these are the winners from the February season. The March season has already started. So make sure that you are going now and downloading the app and taking part in this March season so that you can also get the chances for winning these prizes. Guys, next level has introduced a feature of power-ups wherein when you lose a game, you can use power-ups to restore your rating to the original one. You can earn power-ups by inviting your friend. So guys, go, the links are in the description box, download the app and play coding competitions and get placed. Okay, so guys, first of all, we will be discussing the question then the approach of that question and then finally we will jump on to the code that how you will have to write the code in the exam. Okay, let's just discuss the question first. Write a program to check if for a given number n its power of 4 ends with the number itself or not. This is very simple question that can be asked from you in any exam. So this was previous year questions for the TCA digital upgrade exam. So let's just see what the uh, how to do this question. So here is a hint given that is power of 4 for the number 5 is 3125 so end digit is 3125 which is 5 okay so uh, let me just clear this question for you so we are given an n number so let's just suppose our n number is equal to 5 now we have to find the power of 4 of this number power of 4 of this number means we will have to multiply this number 4 times that is 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 okay this will give us 625 <clears throat> okay so sorry, it will give us 625. Okay, 625 it will give us. So the end digit of 625 is the end digit of 625 is 5 only. So end digit of 625 is 5 only, and our original number was 5 uh, was 5 also. So therefore, in this case, what we'll do? We'll return true. So what it means that we are given an n number, we will find out the power of 4 for that number, and then if the if the uh, power of 4 ends with the number itself, then we will return true, otherwise we will return false. So let's just see output format also. If the input number whose power of 4 ends with the number itself, which uh, that is in this case, number was 5 and the power of 4 of 5, that is 625, was also ending with 5 only. So therefore, in this case, what we will do, we will print true. If this is not happening, what we will do, we will print false. Okay. Now, if the user enters a negative number, then the result should display wrong input. So this uh, so this particular program will only be valid for the positive numbers. So for positive number, if the power of 4 ends with the number itself, we will print true. Otherwise, we will print false. And if the user enters the negative number, then we will print out the wrong input. Okay. So I hope now the question is clear to you. Let's just see uh, with the help of examples, the things will become more clear to you. So first, uh, first example is input is 5. So first of all, what we'll do? We will calculate the power of 4 of this 5. 
सो फाइव इंटू फाइव इंटू सॉरी फाइव इंटू फाइव इंटू फाइव इंटू फाइव दैट विल गिव अस सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके दैट विल गिव अस सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव सो इज सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव एंडिंग विद द नंबर इट सेल्फ सो द आंसर इज येस सो विल रिटर्न ट्रू ओनली ओके नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज एग्जाम्पल टू वेर इन आर इनपुट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव वेर इज आर इनपुट ट्वेंटी फाइव सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील फाइंड दी पावर ऑफ फोर ऑफ दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव इक्वल एंड टू थ्री नाइन सिक्स टू फाइव सो इज पावर ऑफ फोर इज पावर ऑफ फोर ऑफ दिस नंबर एंडिंग विद नंबर इट सेल्फ सो द आंसर इज येस शी कैन सी दैट इट इज एंडिंग विद ट्वेंटी फाइव सो पावर एंड एंड वैल्यू वॉज ऑल्सो ट्वेंटी फाइव सो देर फोर वी रिटर्न ट्रू इन दिस केस नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज ऑफ सेवन नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज ऑफ सेवन ओके सो अगेन वील डू सेवन इंटू सेवन इंटू सेवन इंटू सेवन दैट विल बी इक्वेंट टू टू फोर जीरो वन ओके सो इज पावर ऑफ फोर एंडिंग विद नंबर इट सेल्फ टू फोर जीरो वन हेयर द नंबर इज सेवन हेयर द एंड नंबर इज फाइव हेयर इन दिस केस यू कैन सी दैट सिंस द लेंथ ऑफ द इनपुट नंबर वॉज टू देर फोर लास्ट टू डिजिट वर चेक इफ द If the size of n, that is input number, is one, then only last single digit will be checked. So here seven and one are not equal. Therefore, return false. Next example is input is minus six. As we know that this stands valid for only those numbers which are positive in nature. Therefore, if the answer is negative, then we'll simply print out wrong input. Okay. So this was the entire question. It's very simple. Just one thing we will have to remember that the length of input number should be equivalent to the length of last number. That is. If here there are two digits that uh, are there in the input number, then in the power of four, last n digits will be checked. Here it was two, so therefore last two digits of this power of four will be checked. Whereas here the length of the input number was one only, therefore last single digit was only checked. So this is the one thing that you will have to consider while doing this code. So I hope now the entire question as well as the approach is clear to you. Approach is very simple. The input number that will that you will have. You simply have to multiply it with four times, okay? And then you will have to check the last n digit, okay? Last n digit, or you can say last length of n digits. You will have to check. And if those are equal, we will return true. And if those are not equal, we will return false. So now this was the entire question and the approach of this question. Let's just move quickly towards the code. And guys, do hit that like button as well as the subscribe button because it increases my motivation to make more such videos. And also do download the Next Level app. It is best solution for you getting placed in big big mncs the links you'll find in the description box so now let's move toward the coding part okay so guys for saving time i have already written the code now i will be guiding you step by step that what i have written okay so first of all we have taken n as our input so i am writing this code in c++ but where i whereas you can choose any of your language like java or python okay so first of all this is the library that is hash include bit slash stdc++ h it is a very good library wherein all the inbuilt functions are there so do use this library only when you are using c++ okay so first of all we have taken nr as n as our input why we have taken long long in n because see we have to find power of 4 so we have to store that big number into a uh, into this type of data because a simple integer won't be enough for it so therefore we have used long long int n now we are simply taking input c in n okay so this was our condition that is given to us in the code that is if our if our n is less than 0 we will simply see out wrong input and we will simply return from here that is this code will not go down after it has hit this if condition okay so next next thing is important now c i have told you that See what is the length of the input? The length of the input is two here. Therefore, we will have to check the last two digit of the power of four. Agree? So the length of the input should be equal to the last digits that we will have to check. Last digits that we have to check in the power of four. So therefore, first of all, we we will have to find the length of the input. So therefore, what we have done? We have taken a variable temp. We have stored the value of n in that. We have taken the length value as zero. Okay? Now we are using this while loop. We are simply calculating the length of the input. Okay, now once our length of the input is, uh, uh, we have found out the length of the input. What we have done, we have stored that in this length. Okay, so now let's just uh, assume that this twenty-five was our input and our length value, uh, length variable now contain two only. Uh, I'm sorry, this has opened. Just a second. <clears throat> okay, now what we are doing? 
we have to find the power of 4 so that that power of 4 we have stored in an answer variable so n into n into n into n that is 4 times power of n we have stored in this answer variable now now we have to what we have to do we have to fetch a fetch last n digits that is last two digits in this case we have to fetch from this power of 4 okay so for, for that what we have done we have used this while loop now these last two digits will be stored in the variable called last digits this is the last digits variable which will store the last uh, last digits that is this in this case 25 it will store so therefore we have used this while loop to store that particular number so after this while loop is over this last digit variable will contain the last digits that we have to find that will be equivalent to the length okay so in this case it is 25 so in this case 25 after this loop is over this 25 will be stored in this last digits okay now what we we'll do we have to simple simply compare that if our last digits is equivalent to n simply see out true otherwise see out false okay so this was the entire code that we'll have to write so i hope all the all the lines in this code is clear to you if it is not clear you can see once more it will definitely be clear to you now let's just run this input on some of the test cases that were given to us for 5 it should give us the correct output so 5 for 5 it should give us true okay so it is giving us true for 25 again it should give us true only let's just see what it will give it should give us true only okay it's taking time till then you can like and subscribe this channel if you have not done till now so again oh for 25 it is giving us false uh for 25 it should not give us false i think some of some error has occurred let's just see okay so guys there was one issue in our code that is what we were doing here we were simply uh, multiplying large digit into 10 plus r but that was the wrong thing that we were doing we we'll simply have to take a variable called power equivalent to one we'll keep on multiplying this power with the remainder that we are getting from here and then we will do power is equal to power into 10 at the end of each loop so that it can move on towards the tens tens hundreds thousands so that it can move towards that thing so then we will get our last digit after this loop and then we will, when we will compare it it will give us true or false as our output let's just see for 25 i have already run so it is giving us true and for 7 if we will run it it will give us uh, it will give us false okay and for minus 6 wrong input will be given to us let's just see for minus 6 also uh, for minus 6 it will give us wrong input okay so as this was it for this video let's just wait for the result it will give us wrong input and again i am saying you do hit that subscribe button and do share this video among your friends so that they can also learn that what type of questions can be asked from them in on the 22nd of march this month okay so thank you for watching this video